Good morning everybody, welcome back to Visit File Coast. This morning we're in Fleetwood and this is going to be a look around an interesting little bit of the town on a grey day in February while we're still in lockdown and everything's still closed. So it's kind of history meets, history meets a lockdown look. So this is the end of the town where the market is. So the market is just down there. And we're actually going to walk past it as we go and look at, at what we're going to look at today. Now, I must point this out. We have a, 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 a long-standing regular viewer called Eric who has a thing for second-hand bookshops. And I must point that out or he'll skim me alive. As I walked past then, I noticed all the, shop, all the shops upstairs in the books. <laughs> all the books upstairs in that window, look. And I, and I thought about Eric and I thought it would be in there like a rat up a drain pipe, he would. So Fleetwood Library. Right, well, you probably know it as being this building on this corner here. But in actual fact, I mean, you can tell by the architecture of it, can't you, that it's a fairly new one. <clears throat> it was officially opened on the 17th of June, 1988. And it opened to the public from the 19th of May that year. So obviously they got it finished and let the locals in, as it were. This is Pocket Park here, this little, this little garden, which is the site of a, a demolished shop. And we're going to come back and take a look at that on a better day when it's sunny and the plants have started to grow because it's a lovely little, it's a lovely little spot that. <clears throat> so today we're going to look at the library. Well, obviously it's closed, so we're not going inside, but frankly that might be a bit of a challenge anyway we're not far away from the esplanade here and through the pother of that air conditioning unit you can just see in the distance the top of the mount pavilion through the trees and that shows you how fleetwood sort of loops back round on itself so this is north albert north albert street and the library, this new one, also houses the registrar's office, which I didn't know that either until I looked this morning. And it replaced a shop called Cliff Shirley's Cycles. And apparently there was also a telephone exchange upstairs in it. And the new exchange was built on Poulton Road. So when we go past the pocket part, you can see why we're going to come back and take a proper look at this on a proper day. And it's quite, this is quite an interesting little plot all on its own, to be honest. It's a beautiful little garden. It's really well looked after as well. Nice little spot to sit down for five minutes and gather your composure. So this is Victoria Street, she says, just looking around and making sure she's got the right street. And on our right hand side down here is the other side of Fleetwood Market. And we're going to take a walk down here and we're going to go and find what was originally opened as Fleetwood reading rooms. Because in, in, this lovely, in this lovely town, there is lots of old architecture and lots of old buildings and lots of really interesting history, if you know where to look. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to take you a walk down the quiet streets of Fleetwood and we're going to go and find that while we're on our way. So this building that we're going to arrive at in a moment was built in 1863. So when I said old, I meant old. And it was later listed on the 31st of March 1978. And it really is a lovely, a lovely building. And it was built by a guy called Benjamin Whitworth. And he was a Manchester cotton broker and ship owner. And at the time he lived on Queen's Terrace, which if I get my bearings right, I think is that way. So, um, feeling philanthropic, he obviously decided to open that um, building for the good of the people that lived in the area. So let's navigate through these people. Um, 
and it was opened as a, as a social centre for working people for education and recreation on the site of a former mechanics institute. Now we're getting into a, a really old corner of the world here because this pub, the steamer, I believe is the oldest pub in Fleetwood. It might be one of the oldest buildings. This is the new outdoor space at Fleetwood Market. So these cream buildings have been recently installed and that grey building there is the back of Fleetwood Museum. So we're kind of in historic territory land. So we'll get around this corner and I'll show you what we've come to find. And I'm just wondering whether it's right or left. <laughs> this is right and left I could be called, couldn't I? I think it's right. I believe it's right at the end of here. Let's have a look whether I'm right. So this is the estuary, the, well the channel, of the River Wire that we're coming up to. And that's the old loading gear from the ferries. Yes it is, it's this way. I've got my bearings now. I was right, it's right. And this is Dock Street that we're now walking along. So you see I promised you a little ramble round the streets of Fleetwood. So you can have a look round and find something out that you probably didn't know at the same time. So I'm going to cross the road because this building is now in private ownership and I really don't want to look like I'm um, scrutinising this property when I don't know whether the owners are watching me. So we'll go across the road. And then we've got a really good view up to it. We can also see over the, over the river as well. Apart from the fact that the fence is in the way. So this is the old parking area where the container ferries, where the containers used to wait for the ferries. There you go. Nice bit of, nice bit of empty, empty land. So this is what we're coming to look at. This beautiful building here in red brick with stone lintels. So this is another one that was designed and built by Thomas Atkinson Drummond. He built many other pieces of architecture in the town and in fact I do believe he's got a pub named after him. And it was opened as a public hall and reading room which in fact is what it says over the door. And in 1887 Samuel Fielden bought it, so it was built by Benjamin Whitworth in the first place, the cotton, the cotton merchant, and Samuel Fielden bought it and gave it to the people of Fleetwood as a library. But it came on one condition. They got to, the Improvement Commissioners had got to adopt the Free Public Libraries Act. Anyway, you know what, you know what they're like, I mean, nothing changes, does it? And, and they, were, they were indecided about whether or not the conditions merited the reward. But after a spell of indecision, the, the council officers, the improvement commissioners, because this, this would predate councils, wouldn't it? Decided to adopt it at the meeting on the 23rd of August, 1887, and it became the public library. So the upstairs room was a public hall until 1988 and I know a lot of you have commented that you've been in it and remember it well and, and all the rest of it. Um, I can't remember it being anything other than, a, other than a private house and it's absolutely gorgeous. The owners that have got it at the moment have done such a lovely job restoring it. They've really done really well. I mean, I can remember it being just about derelict. And then in 1976, Fleetwood Maritime Museum opened in the basement. And that eventually became Fleetwood Museum, which is just around there, just around the corner. They moved around there in 1991 to what was the original customs house. 
So there you have it. That's, that's the interesting past of an unassuming 1980s building. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got anything to add to the story, I'd be really pleased if you add it. There's a full article about the Fielding Institute on our Visit Fleetwood website. So if you look in the description below this video, you'll find a link to it there. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. And then you'll get alerts and updates when we go live or upload new content. Lots to come. So you have a lovely day now, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. From a cold... Well, it's not that cold, actually. From a cool and slightly grey Fleetwood seafront. We'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.